in the country of Sweden, they've created the invisible bicycle helmet. Are you tired of strapping on that ugly, uncomfortable styrofoam plastic tortoise shell over, the, over your head? Well, we no longer have to do that if you are one of, if you can get yourself this new invisible bicycle helmet. And this new invisible, this new invisible bicycle helmet um, was, it was created and it was it used research, it used research around um, airbags and how airbags work. So how this thing sort of works, uh, this, helmet, this, hel this helmet is for sale, so it's about $535. And you actually wear the helmet around your neck. It's a little zipper concoction that you wear around your neck. And as you get ready to fall, or you get ready to, you know, as you, as you get ready to hit it for impact, it sort of expands like an airbag around your head. So it does this sort of thing. It creates a helmet very similar to a car airbag. Um, the helmet does work. Um, I mean, I think people think that you might be, you might, there might be a slow reaction to it, but they've actually, a lot of the studies have indicated that the helmet does work and it doesn't require you to wear the uncomfortable plastic turtle shell thing that people are used to wearing. Um, I don't know. I would rather go with a regular bicycle helmet because, I mean, my fear is that there'll be, there would be a situation in which you get close to falling and it takes too long to react to your fall. And I'm not sure if there's sensories on, uh, sensors on there that sort of det detect the motion of somebody falling. And you know, that is what causes the helmet to release itself. Um, because of the difference, there's a distinction there between an airbag and you know, when you, in an airbag, in an airbag collision, your car feels the impact and the, at the rate of the impact determines when the airbags employ or deploy, excuse me. So we'll have to figure out if this really works or not. For right now, you can spend $535 and go to the website and get it. Um, and it has not met the US CPSC requirements to be sold as a helmet here stateside, but you can buy it and wear it, but it's not considered a real helmet. But in Europe, it is, and you could buy it there. Um, and yeah, we'll keep you posted on whether or not. We'll try to get, we should try to get a hel one of these helmets in the Fowler Show and check it out, but I don't know, we'll figure it out.